In this video, we will be discussing how the highly competitive world of gymnastics can be dangerous, not just for physical health, but for mental health as well. Most people associate gymnastics with tumbling, flipping, and hanging, and launching yourself at high speeds, which is the most terrifying aspect of life as a gymnast. On the other hand, in reality, there are much more evil and unimaginable things that are present in the world of gymnastics. So, if you want to know about them, watch this video till the end. The Culture Under the sequins, spins, and somersaults of gymnastics lies an ugly, exploitative, and abusive culture of high expectations, particularly for high-level female gymnasts. Simone Biles, the world's third most decorated gymnast, recently declared that she would not enroll her daughter in gymnastics. Her statement may appear extreme at first glance, perhaps overly cautious and dramatic, but to those in the world of gymnastics, it will appear perfectly rational. Joanne Ryan, a sports journalist, labeled women's gymnastics legal child abuse after conducting research on the sport 25 years ago. Psychological trauma cannot be treated with a cast, sling, or crutch, and often leaves its victims scarred for the rest of their lives. Body Disorder Gymnastics is as much a sport about strength and flexibility as it is performance, and as such, the gymnasts are held to astonishing standards. This extreme pressure manifests itself as body dysmorphia, eating disorders, and deteriorating mental health in these athletes, particularly female athletes. According to research by Joran Sundgott Borgen and Monica Torstveit in 2010, aesthetic athletes such as gymnasts are at more of a risk of developing eating disorders because elite gymnast dieting is a staple of their lives, training, and performance. In many performance sports, the athletes are judged subjectively, and the thinness already equated with success, beauty, and admiration in general society is magnified within the women's gymnastics. Thus, the pressure from both cultural and sporting attitudes toward body weight and shape creates a volatile culture. Role of Social Media In the present age, Social media plays a very important role in society. TikTok, Instagram, and other virtual spaces in which fitness and gymnastics have become increasingly common. The rise of social media has resulted in an increase in the popularity of fitness content, which both inspires and misleads viewers. When audience strive for elite skill, they often forget that much has been sacrificed in order to achieve such a level of talent. Followers will be inspired by a backflip but they will be unaware of the potential injuries and psychological pain endured to reach that level of performance. It is important to remember, as with all social media, that it is only a snapshot of a moment, and unless such an athlete or influencer is completely transparent, it will appear to come at no cost, setting dangerous precedents for viewers. Women's Gymnastics Women's gymnastics is a sport that is notoriously hard on the body and, for the most part, they have an unusually small window of peak performance and marketability and are done competing at the most elite levels past the age of 22, which means basically that to call them women half the time is a stretch. They're basically girls, or they certainly started out as children. Even once they're 18, they're foregone a so-called normal childhood and spent nearly all of their waking hours devoted to gymnastics, sacrificing friends, dating, sleeping in, junk food, and often even regularly scheduled school to train. They're phenomenal athletes, possessors of physical strength and mental fortitude that most mere mortals can only look up to. But at the end of the day, they are just kids competing for a handful of spots that open up every four years for their sport's biggest stage, the Summer Olympics, while also competing at the regional, national, and international levels. There's also the decision between remaining eligible to compete in college and going pro. Gymnasts are unable to do both. So in the end, no one hangs up their shoes or caps without having spent considerable time nursing injuries, be they broken bones, concussions, torn muscles, or just general wear and tear. And besides being a world-famous sport, gymnastics has a lot of dark sides as well. Tell us in the comments what you think about this.